you're an active member, so you would have all got your email last week about voting for next year's board. Please vote, have your say. Um, on that voting form is also a section where you can nominate someone for Hall of Fame. So the Auckland Club has numbers 1 to 100 of the membership numbers saved um, for people who have done good in Auckland, um, past, present, future. So each year um, the club can give out um, positions. Okay, please listen and the first person to be called out can grab the cards. Just put your end score in a circle on here. It just helps us sort them out at the end. <laughs> um, <laughs> hole four, Sean, Charkett, Brady, okay, and Isaac, Isaac who had the 70. Yeah, that's We've got two Isaacs here. Right. Sean, okay. Can you just say his last name? Sorry. That's okay. Okay. <laughs> What's good DJs? Welcome back to the channel. We're here at the Auckland Bag Tag today at Henderson. Starting hole four, we've got Isaac, Brad and Chaka on my card, so looking forward to playing with these guys. I've only played with Chaka before, so it's going to be good fun. Um, yeah, straight headwind rip to start. See how we go. Boom, welcome DJs to the first ever appearance of voiceover Sean. Uh, today we've got some spicy clips starting off for you today at hole four in Henderson. Now I started this bag tag uh, with bag tag 35. Um, I had played Isaac in a bag tag previously, but we uh, hadn't actually swapped tags. So I started with 35, got a good drive away on four, um, and then same thing again on five. Nice two big open holes to start off with, so uh, really good to calm the nerves. You can sort of correct any mistakes that you might be making. Uh, as you can see here, yeah, thinking about what I'm what I'm actually throwing, um, and some of you will notice uh, the astute ones amongst yourselves will notice that some of the clips that I show today weren't actually filmed during the round. Uh, now that's because the uh, it's much harder to film, talk, be a good car mate, and play well uh, all in the one day. So I thought, why not come back, film a little bit extra. Uh, it's just so you guys can see some of the shots I did in the video. Uh, I replicated this one here for hole six, carded a very, very nice birdie. I think I was actually this close uh, during the real round as well, which was which was awesome. But a great day uh, had out at Henderson. Uh, the Auckland uh, team have been putting on uh, awesome events and they've really upped the number of bag tags that we're having. Uh, and that to me is great. I love playing for tags. Um, even though <laughs> since this video I've, I've currently lost the one that I won but it's it's such a good way to emulate an, an actual tournament round so I highly recommend if you're not part of the Auckland Club uh, or if you don't come to these bag tags then uh, I would recommend that you do because like I say it's a lot of fun um, yeah here you can see at hole 9 it used to be hole 8 uh, I love that shot. Uh, some of you may have seen the more recent shorts video where I finally snagged that one. Um, and then yeah, hole 10, another little dinker. Uh, tasty little forehand here with the Crave. Gets me nice and close. I believe, no, I parred both of these during the actual round itself. Um, alas, I think I make the putt here on the, on the extra day, but it was, like I say, it was a really, really good day out. My card mates were great loved love love playing with new people as well so that's another thing that the bag tag is really good for gives you a, a good opportunity to play with people that you might not otherwise play with on a card um, and, and they can sort of become fast friends and you might see them out in the course and, and you know pick up another round with them then uh, and the Auckland community as well is, is still growing at the moment too so it's still nice and small um, and we can sort of you know really get to know each other um, on the cards which is good too so yeah, Isaac ended up having a great round as well. Um, I was on for the round of my life. Um, so yeah, Brad, Chuckett, Isaac were the ones that I mentioned on the card. Isaac and I both shot under par, which was amazing. Sadly, 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 it all came apart on hole 3B, which will, some of you will know uh, is just an impossible hole in my opinion. Um, the fairway is so tight that the flex forehand doesn't really work because um, it doesn't have enough time to come back. <laughs> I've thought about maybe a forehand roller and that's something that I might explore in the future. Um, but again, it, on the day I think I tried a straight shot down the middle and ended up getting caught up. It was the only bogey that I took in an otherwise very clean round. I managed to get five other birdies. I birdied 3G, 6G, 2B, 5B and 6B. 
which I'm really really stoked about um, especially the 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 birdie on 2b that uh, the, the pinch off where you go OB a lot by the part that usually gets me so it was nice to nice to snag that one um, you can see here actually here's all the all the card playing the hole uh, gross but out there for Isaac nice little tap in there and I managed to dink a little one from the bullseye so yeah ended up getting tag 15 which I did not think in my wildest dreams would ever go that low at a bag tag tournament so very very happy with that um, but yeah if you've enjoyed the footage today guys make sure you like and subscribe get out to one of these tournaments come and say hello uh, do all the things in the comments you know the drill love you lots peace